and welcome to this new vlog. Welcome, this time from Pokhara, still in yes. Nepal. And this morning I woke up with the intention to do yoga because there are many places where you can do yoga but there was no yoga teacher. So very essential for yoga. But Hopefully there are many tomorrow. other things to do here. Yeah. We're going to walk, maybe hike. Boat ride. Right. Boat ride right on the famous yeah. Viva Lake. A visit Women Skills Development Project, a really nice project for, hopefully, the, hopefully. for the women here. We still have to contact them. Yeah. But uh, and let's see how it is because we've been here two times before. Last time was 16 years ago. So we're going to check out how much this place has changed. <laughs> First impression? A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. To take you with us. We start with a coffee. Start today with a coffee. Remember, uh, about two weeks ago, after our brewery visit, uh, Barasinge Yak Brewery, uh, we bought some beers. Our favorite beers was also this big bottle of, I hope, dark beer for a Belgian beer stew. Together with uh, soy chunks, carrots, oyster mushrooms. Normally I use button mushrooms, but couldn't find them, so this time it's with oyster mushrooms. We'll give them more meaty texture some onions, uh, bread to thicken the sauce with some mustard. <laughs> Looking forward to dinner tonight with some uh, fried potatoes. So ready. Uh, actually not. Now it's my turn to have a cold. I'm sweating. I don't feel like walking around but yeah you know. Maybe you have to come with me tomorrow to do yoga. This morning I had a yoga class. It was a good one and it would be very good for Eve too. Yeah I enjoyed my me time this morning. Uh, we parked Boris here in Pokhara next to the lake. And next to a park is not the most beautiful spot because it can be quite noisy with all the buses they come to park here. But it's a pleasant walk through the park to Lakeside. Where are we going today? Lakeside is the main tourist area of uh, Pokhara. And we said it before, I say it and I will say it again. It changed a lot. For the better? Uh, probably not. Or maybe you are getting old. And it takes literally five steps to be in a park. Yeah. Popular with locals and also the starting point for uh, the boat trips. We're going to rent a boat later this week. Yeah. Oh, half a day. We just uh, enjoyed a healthy juice, a smoothie. Yep. Very good one. Whoa, but this place has changed a lot over the years. It's much more spread out, high rises everywhere. A lot of hotels, restaurants, shops. We're getting old, definitely. Hello. But uh, walking to the end of uh, Lakeside makes for a good um, exercise. Hello, this morning I did some yoga 
And now we're ready to walk to Women's Skills Development Project. So it's a really nice project. They're making like bags, um, wallets, wallets, all purchase. those things. So I'm looking forward to go there. It's normally I think 20 minutes or half an hour walk. 40. 40 minutes walk. So I'm ready. Made to Women's Skill Development Project here in Pokhara. Nice. Nice Let's walk. Go. Hot and humid. Yeah. But the neighborhood was okay. The neighborhood was okay. And it's 20 years, 22 years ago that we've been here. The same Getting place. old. And we bought some wallets for some friends. And some still exist. Like yeah. Caroline, my friend told me she still has one. Caroline. Caroline, the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. What you are doing here, if we can see something. And there is an outlet store here. So maybe. Going to buy, buy some souvenirs. More pre presents. The Women's Skills Development Organization, established in 1975, is a non profit and income generating program that supports women who are facing social and economic difficulties, such as widowed or divorced women and women from marginalized castes. They are trained and given employment opportunities in many different steps of making hand-woven and handmade products. Their vision is to improve the quality of life for all women in Nepal by empowering women with new skills and capacities to be self-supportive. We had the opportunity to follow the whole process. First, the cotton has to be boiled, washed and dyed. After drying in the sun, the cotton is balled and loomed before it is ready to be woven. A lot of steps to make a beautiful and memorable bag. What struck us was how well the women got on with each other and how happy they all looked. What a great project! Yeah. Still is. And they were very, wel very welcoming. Yeah. We had the tea. They showed us the whole process. And we bought a lot, or you bought a lot. For the friends. <laughs> yeah. Now we go to the supermarket. Still on a hunt for um, plant-based milk. Plant-based milks. It's like a rarity here in Pokhara. Won't have luck in finding uh, plant-based milk, I guess. We're back at New Road, close to the Patpatini Superstore, where we end the previous vlog. Yep. And we know there they don't have uh, soy milk, almond milk, oats milk, you guys. But they have... Chocolate paste. Ah, yeah, they have chocolate paste. And samosa. They sell good samosas there. on the Fiwa Lake in Pokhara. When you're here, you have to take a boat ride on the lake. But my boat driver is Eve, so I'm very lucky. Yeah. And we have our lunch package with us. We have a Coke, we have water, we have fruit. Because we will do it for half a day. <laughs> Eve is already very excited for half a day rowing. <laughs> Hands turn, taking a rest. It's a nice breeze, and you see we're approaching an island. It's one of the famous temples here in Pokhara. It's 
gut. Right? No, it's much harder than I thought. Sometimes I'm so enthusiastic, I start rowing, 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 and then you are so far. And I can't stop her. <laughs> and you are so far. Yeah. I have to and go you back. Can solve the problem. <laughs> but I help you. We have, uh, we can row it too. So uh, yeah. a lot of headwind. <laughs> and headwind. Tired and sweaty, so I oh and sunscreen in my eyes. God damn it! Um, watermelon juice will do me good. Let's try homemade vegan parmesano. And Eve made homemade spaghetti sauce. Yeah. Took it easy this afternoon, we were both a bit tired of our boat ride. Right? Took it easy this afternoon. <laughs> uh, lots of cheese. Uh, and tonight, probably an early night, and tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Normally I would say tomorrow yoga, but I don't know yet. We have two more things to do. Um, we want to go to a waterfall. Waterfall and a cave. Yeah, a cave, yeah. And another time, uh, walk again to lakeside. And there's a walking path along the border of the lake, walking back. Yeah. So. And we want to finish our stay here at the lakeside before moving on to the other side of the lake. But we want, want to finish here with food. Yeah, kind of a fancier fancy food. dinner. That's fancy too. But we don't know where. Good sauce. No yoga today. No yoga. I had uh, I have a headache. Women with headaches. <laughs> uh, and change of plans also. Uh, normally we were going to walk to the waterfall this afternoon. Yeah. But I uh, checked the route and it's mainly walking along the highway. It's the same highway we have to take when we leave, leave Pokhara in the direction yeah. of India. So if we feel for it, if we like it, we can stop mm -hmm. then. But um, this afternoon we're going to walk along Lakeside again. Yep. But now still in uh, search for a plant plant based milk. milk. Yep. So wish us luck. No luck this time. Again, uh, we still have five or six liters of plant based milk. But if it continues like this, we have to start making our cashew milk yep. ourselves. That's the only option. That was a fairly decent lunch. Uh, veg and tuk, Tibetan and soup. Uh, one more time, walking along lakeside. Yep. Yeah, so shopping. Maybe a little bit of shopping. You see, have a juice. Yeah. Have a juice at the end of Lakeside and then come back with Lakeview. Yeah, the walking pond. Yep, here we go.
Good morning. It's probably our last full day here on the lakeside before we drive to the other side of the lake. Uh, Anne is back to the yoga. I came to the same restaurant where we had lunch yesterday to have a Tibetan breakfast, steamed bread with veg curry and a black tea. And in the meantime, I can finish uh, one of our vlogs. Brecky has arrived. Two pieces of steam bread with a veg curry. Time to dig in. It's a really good curry, masala curry. Some beans, lentils, potatoes. And when I'm finished here, go back to Boris and go to make a bean spread. White beans, but I guess. Anne is going to buy some breads, and we have some baguettes with beans this after, uh, for lunch. And this afternoon, we go back to Lakeside, <clears throat> probably having a sundown or a beer to view on the lake. And afterwards, it's burger time. Perfect. And she's back. Mm -hmm. Sourdough bread. With a perfect bean spread. Perfect mm. bean spread. Unbelievable. It's burger time! Vegan burgers, that's our favorite. We had a great night. Yeah. Uh, had a few beers on Lakeside with um, some snacks. A bit too much beer. We had nice company there. Australian and Nepali um, neighbor. So, like I said before, this morning, finishing the day with um, burger. Yeah. And also finishing this vlog with a burger. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment. We love to hear from you. You know it. <laughs> See you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.